Hey everyone, this is Matthew from Dot Bunny. Thought I'd show off the uh, basically the C Lion source code access component that we have uh, for Unreal that allows you to integrate with C Lion from JetBrains. So the first thing I did was I uh, downloaded the plugin to my local project. Um, let me just see if I can get a window to show you. Now I'm using Unreal on Mac. So let's just pull this project over to here, this one. All right, so there's a, just a normal project layout. Uh, I've dropped it into the plugins folder. You can see it's not compiled yet. Uh, that's source here. The important point here is that this is a C++ project and Unreal will compile any plugins it finds. If you've created your project based off the blueprint templates, you will need to add a C++ class to your project so that Unreal, when you restart it, will compile the plugin. So I'm just gonna hit yes to compiling it. I probably will time lapse this a bit so it doesn't take so long. All right, so we have Unreal open now. I'm just gonna open a map here. And this is just a test map that I have that I built to show the hot swapping. So with the plugin, uh, enabled, which it is by default, you'll see you now have two new options in your file menu, generate CMake list and open C line. The generate CMake list, what it does is it takes uh, a built-in function in Unreal's uh, build system uh, where it generates uh, the code light, which is another IDE's project format. So the way the plugin works is it takes that and it just rips it apart and packages it up back nicely. So the first step before you do anything is to generate the CMake files. You can see it actually tells you it is actually doing the code light project. Um, and this is a kind of an extensive process where it's just dumping out stuff, dumping line after line after line. Um, and then quickly at the end, it parses it and makes it our own. Uh, so now we have that, I'm going to uh, tell C line to open. Uh, so two things to realize is that you need to have that CMake file for C line to work properly with your project. Um, so I'll close that here. So you can see here, my project, so I have my actual source for the project is here, and it's it's not faded out. That indicates it's not part of the project. Um, you'll notice up in your C line that we have one right up here. It defaults to please ignore me sometimes. You do not want to have that set. If you want to work inside of the editor and like compile for hot swapping, you want to have your project name, editor, and then development. The clean option actually will just wipe out all the extra files. It's normal uh, make system cleaning. So you'll notice I only have a few options here previous to our old system, which had a lot. Uh, so what I've done is or inside of Unreal, if I go to my project settings, which hopefully don't crash, there we go. Whoop. Sorry for project settings, hiding stuff, there we go. Uh, and you look at your C Lion settings. There is a whole bunch of new settings here, which allow you to tell it what configurations you want to be transferred over to the CMake file when it's being made. Currently, as it stands, the code light doesn't actually produce a debug or a test configuration. They're there purely in case it ever happens, that's just the checkbox, it'll work. Uh, debug game versus development. Debug game uh, gives you more debugging at a C++ level. So I haven't played around enough with it inside a C line to see if we couldn't use it. Um, I'm just working on hot swapping right now. Uh, so then the additional folder section is uh, renamed from originally what was, I think, just like the include section. That's if you want uh, your plugins folder, your, con your config and your shaders to show up over here and be uh, included in what it thinks is the project. Those will not be compiled when you use the hot swapping either way. Um, and the final part is the CMake target projects. This is where you can say, um, do you want the Unreal Editor base project to be compiled? Do you want it to show up in here? So our list before had a lot, so I'm just gonna just check all these. Um, and then I'm just going to tell it to remake a CMake file. And so it's just going to redump this out. Um, this is going to get nasty and long, uh, but that's fine. So it's doing its thing. So it's done that. So I can go back over here. I can actually open this and it'll, you would think it would be longer. I'm pretty sure I told it to do it. There we go. Um, sometimes it just doesn't load it. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's because they cache it internally. So you can see there's now more options available. And then the list up here, 
hasn't been populated. It's building symbols, but we're going to just cheat a bit right over here and reload the CMake project. Yo, there we go. So now we have a whole bunch of new options up here. Uh, so I'm going to go back over to Unreal and I'm just going to tell it to simplify again. Um, so uncheck this. I want the editor. I don't want any of these. And again, I'm just going to leave the development one. Adding more of these, you'd get more in there as well. So leave it as that. And we're going to hope, 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 hope Unreal doesn't crash here. Look at that. Welcome to the wonderful world of dealing with Unreal on Mac. Um, it leads you to believe that I will eventually just continue working from source, but I really want this project to uh, work from the rocket builds or the distributed builds. Um, all right, so we're just gonna make a new one. Just make sure it's all updated. All right, open it again. And this is 2017.2. Um, it's the early access program one, but I use the normal release one on a different machine. It works just fine too. All right, so back to clean, nothing really going on here. So we're gonna select our development build. So it's gonna build symbols here. Um, I am going to fast forward this because I cleared everything out. So it's just building all the symbols. All right, so the actual demonstration I'll show you with hot swapping is I have these simple uh, actions. So it's just a ray tracing system. So going over this changes the color, nothing fancy there at a certain distance. So I know that I'm going over it. Same thing with all these. These ones have little text things. They're all just tied to different things. So if I was hot swapping while this was running, I would tab over to our good friends here and uh, I would find the code. I think it's over here. Yeah, <laughs> generic character controller. Um, and I just comment out that code. Um, I just gotta uncheck it. There we go. So, <clears throat> so it's running. I've changed this code. It's gonna hop back to Unreal. See, it's still running, still working. I'm gonna hop back over here. It's saving, so I should be able to do this now. So the hotkey is uh, Command F9 on Mac. I'm gonna assume it's like Control, but all I'm gonna do is just click it. Uh, Let's click it. So see it's building. And let's hop back here. Yeah. Ooh, it's indexing. All right, so you can actually see over here, much like the normal uh, build process in Unreal, it's just going through the normal process. doing its thing. Recognize the change there. It's gonna hop back over here. You're gonna see hot reload complete. And you now see that it's not working. It's just being terrible, apparently. <laughs> no, it's because I stopped it. So we're gonna go back over here, put the check code back in, save, hit compile. And I'll sit in here, wander around my beautiful squared out room. It's so wonderful. Um, I was using this to teach somebody how to do stuff. So, we go over here, 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 nothing's working. Still not working. Um, and you don't actually have to have it running for the hot swap to work, it works at all points. That long to change it, right? Honestly, what's going on? Oh, there. <laughs> All right, so it's back while it's running, just like that. Um, so that's kind of what one point I was about was making sure that you didn't, oh yeah, you can right click to turn the color on. <laughs> uh, was about making sure you didn't have to come back to Unreal to hit compile over here. You could compile from within CLion. Um, futures for the thing or future for the plugin is definitely to uh, streamline some of the workflow uh, so that if you do hit compile inside of Unreal, 
that it saves inside the plugin. Uh, other issues is to get it working, uh, the workflow with a source build of Unreal uh, working as well. Uh, because right now it's primarily set up so that anyone that's doing project-based stuff or the uh, Rocket or downloadable version that's already compiled, it works flawlessly with that. So that's it for now. Uh, I'm sure we will continue to update this as it goes. Thanks for watching. I hope you find the tool useful and uh, we'll keep working on it.